Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 18. Now, I got a lot of feedback on this base after the last episode regarding why it's not working anymore, but a few people reached out to me and said they built the exact same base and they figured out what the problem was. All they had to do was knock out this block right here, the bars that are directly above the hatch, and for some reason, that fixed the zombie pad thing. So that's what I did. Lo and behold, a zombie showed up last night. I stood up here, zombie walked right into the pit and went right for the ladder, even with these frames in place over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up, replace them with flagstone blocks and upgrade them to concrete because obviously the bridge was not the problem. The roof was the problem. Because like I said in a previous episode, the only changes I made to the base were the roof and the bridge and then it stopped working. I figured it was the bridge, obviously it was the roof. Uh, for some reason, having a block above the hatch causes the zombies to not see the hatch as a hatch or some shit. I don't know the technicalities behind it, I just know it works now. So, we're gonna do some upgrading here, we're gonna do some additional work to the barn as well, and then we're gonna hit the road, go see Joel, I got some stuff to sell him. His inventory restocked on the 16th, and we haven't seen him since then, so we'll see if he's got anything we want to buy, and then maybe we'll do a couple of jobs for him as well. Now, these blocks in the pit that I had the sledgehammer turret on weren't affecting the zombie pad thing, but the problem was zombies were falling into the pit, landing on top of them, and getting stuck there uh, on the sledgehammer turret, so when I was shooting them, I was also accidentally shooting the sledgehammer turret. So by raising that up to ground level, I should prevent that from happening. All right, I want to replace this wall now. Now that we have confirmed that the base works, I want this wall in place here. So I'm going to dig down one block and uh, put in some rebar frames. This way we're building on top of reinforced concrete and not on top of dirt. Uh, that's it for the concrete. All right, I'll get more crafted. And then I want to replace all these iron blocks with uh, re rebar frames and get those upgraded to reinforced concrete. I want to upgrade the uh, this roof here with the iron. And I think we'll be looking good. I still want to add some sort of uh, backup base. But let's see how this base performs on day 21st and then we'll think about it. I got B supplies and C supplies right here. That's just building supplies and crafting supplies. All right, let's go see Joel. Also, real quick, it finally happened. I made my own brand of cornmeal. You knew it was coming. Farmer Glock's organic as fuck yellow cornmeal. And the design is actually available in the G9 store right now as an 18 by 24 inch poster and on a t-shirt. The link for the store, as always, if you're interested, is down below. What do we got in here? Sugar butts, I'll take it. And the eye candy. And the rock buster candy. Oh, not enough coin. Alright, we'll grab that on the way out. Actually brought sugar butts with me. Let's eat one of them before we go see Joel. Gotta eat him outside. Joel doesn't like watching people eat butt. And that's fine. Hey, you gotta respect what other people's boundaries. Well, I bought everything but a level 3 wrench. And I actually got... Even more things to sell in the bike. Let's go grab this stuff. Bam. Making some money this morning. All right, so everything but the level three wrench in this chest armor. And uh, I don't know why I brought this gun mod with me. I, I didn't want to sell that. I'd rather hold on to it and put it on a weapon that we're going to sell to add to the value. Let's buy this gunpowder. Nine millimeter. We're good on any type of food products. We don't need any more of that shit. Lucky looter goggles. That's an option. Now buy the shotgun shells. Buckshot. Bullet casings. Bullet tips.
All right. Let's see what he's got in the stash. I'll hold off on the Magnum ammo. What Fireman's Almanac is this? Uh, I don't really care about that one. If it was the one where you uh, overheat less often, I would have taken that. Um, I don't, I'm good on the Lucky Looter goggles. We're wearing the nerdy glasses now. It gives us a point in intellect. It, it allows us to craft things faster and gives us an XP gain. I'd rather keep those. Uh, we got a real close clear zombies, but let's do the Buried Supplies okay, quest first, since it's only 8.30 in the morning. Bang that out real quick, then we'll come back, we'll do that clear zombies quest. Ah, forgot about that Rockbuster candy. Let's grab that. I like using that at night when we're digging down in the mine. This way we get even more stone, because we're gonna need... Even more stone to craft all the concrete that we're going to need. Got a zombie. Oh yeah, look at her run. I forgot. I did change all zombie day speed to run. They were set to walk. And at this point in the game, walking zombies are just too, uh, they're just too easy. Here we go. No, oh, the yucca smoothie recipe. That's nice that we'll know that. However, we can't make that just yet. Oh, choppity chop, Mo. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I meant to grab the pistol. Uh, you need snow for the yucca smoothies. And since we haven't found the snow biome yet, we can't make that drink yet. Oh, chill out, buddy. I think he was just dying. He's trying to die in my arms. Not in these arms. Well, that was easy. Uh, let's grab some uh, nitrate powder while we're here. I'm not going to eat the Rockbuster candy, though, because I'm not going to go too crazy. I just want to grab a little bit of this, and then we'll see if we can find some coal on the way back to Joel's so we can make some gum powder tonight. Let's read that yucca smoothie recipe. We can scrap this food. We can eat the pears now, and we got some blackstrap coffee. Sports bag. Can't pass up on a bloody sports bag out in the wild. Never know what you're gonna find. Look at that. Level 6 cloth boots. We'll sell those to Joel. What do you got for me, Joel? Two painkillers or an insulator mod? I guess I'll take the painkillers. That's a pretty shitty reward, though, Joel. Better give me something better for this next job. Friends. Yeah, we'll do this clear zombie. Super close by. No I'm almost, I'm, I'm tempted to do the farther away one, which I guess we probably will do. Because I'm sure we'll have time to do a third job. Because the farther away one might take us to another town. Alright, here we are. Little cabin. Should be pretty easy. Hey, slow down, buddy. Let's check the mailbox. Mining book. We already read it, though. Oh, here comes another one. Chill, I haven't even gone inside yet. I don't think those two zombies are included in this clear the area challenge. I think they just heard me coming. Uh, anything behind this couch here? Oh, a little duffel bag. Scrap the food. Take that padded hood. Oh, some ammo in the luggage, and let's take this, uh, radiator here for the brass. Oh, I heard a big boy. Hey, big boy! Whoops! Oh, well, the bigger they are, the higher the chance that they'll fall through the floor, I believe is the saying. Let's see if we can pop that open and get in the closet without falling. Nope. Okay, well, close that door. Let's see what we got in here. Scrap that sledgehammer, take the padded chest armor. Because we already have stone in the bike. Might as well add to it. Scrap that die for the paint. 
You know, one thing I keep forgetting to do is taking the dye out of clothing that I find and scrapping it before I scrap the clothing for more paint. Because at some point, I would like to paint the barn. I want to wait until we get it nice and upgraded, though, to at least reinforce concrete. Nice. Oh, can't scrap that yet. I'm scrapping too many things. Let's get around into this room here. Not much going on. I guess we're going back upstairs now. Little kitchen area. The uh, clear zombies quest is not over, so there are obviously more zombies around somewhere. Knock this trash out, too. Try not to wake any zombies up just yet. Some cloth. Let's take this cloth as well. And now, looks like we're going up in the attic. Let's check this closet first, though. And uh, we're clear. Nice. That level 6 leg armor, I think is better than... I think we're only wearing, like, level 2. I'll check that out later. Glue and wood. Gunpowder. One piece of wood. And an empty can. Oh, shit. That's why you shouldn't enter a room holding a shovel. She's feral, so she can take a little bit more of a beating. That's the thing. Now that I set day zombies to run, all zombies are going to run, but you got to look in their eyes to make sure uh, or to see whether or not they're feral. Feral zombies obviously have glowing eyes, if you didn't know, and they have m uh, more hit points than uh, standard zombie. Uh, I'll scrap the brass, scrap the food, drink this red tea. Traveler. I'm back, Joel. It must be my lucky day. Oh, that's better. Twenty pipe bombs. I'll take it. Let's sell him some of this shit here. It's been okay, a real grab the pleasure. pipe bombs. You watch yourself out there. And uh, we'll do this fetch quest. Friend, great. It's not too far, but it's far enough to where I believe it is going to be in another town. And I know when I took those pipe bombs, there was a brawler book. And we're focused on brawling in this series. I probably should have looked to see what book that was, but too late. Here we are, and this was in another town, just south of Joel's town. So, uh, we'll do this job here, and then when we're done, we'll cruise around and see what POIs are around. You never know. Could find the mushroom house. What was that? Oh, shit! <laughs> I, I saw the shadow. I didn't hear anything. This guy literally did not make one sound. Usually they grunt or something when you wake them up. Fucking ninja zombies. Alright, that's fine. They're putting points in the stealth. And I'm over here like, fuck it. Wake up time! See? What do I need stealth for? I just bust in and beat the shit out of everyone. Seems like a much better strategy than sneaking around and wasting time. Ah, who got me? You little crawling son of a bitch. Oh, look at him go, right up onto the counter. Good. Makes it easier for me to punch you in the face.
What do we got here? Gumbo stew recipe. I'll read it, but I don't think we could make it. Not 100% sure, but if I had to guess, I would say gumbo contains meat. Let's see. Oh yeah, beef, chicken stock, and animal fat. Definitely can't eat that. We can eat these though. Peas. Yum. I think that's coming from outside. Let's grab this leather. Yep, yeah, right here at the window. Oh, gotcha. Hey, Kenny. Kenny must have mistaken this house for his dealer's house. Oh, look, I chopped his arm off. Now he's really got to be pissed. How's he going to light the pipe with only one hand? So long, Kenny. Now you can rest easy. Guess we're going upstairs. Bathroom's clear. Murky water. Oh! Bathroom's not clear. Hiding in the shower. You get better at checking my corners. Alright. Let's check behind here. Nothing. Nothing. Clear. Nothing behind Ben. Um, those doors are locked. I guess we're going out the window. It's a purse right here. Nothing. All right. Back in we go. Oh. Found you. Damn. She was fired up. Guess we're going back outside. The, uh, the supplies are down below. I must have missed those. Oh. We got to, uh, grab them before we leave then. So focused on, on looting and killing zombies, I, I forgot we're supposed to be finding supplies. This challenge has nothing to do with killing zombies. Here's the main stash. Oh, soldier zombie. Oh shit, I must have dropped my 9mm ammo off in the motorcycle like a fucking idiot. I swear, I can't count on both hands how many times I've done that shit. Not a bad little score right there. It's been a pretty good day so far. Water. Let's see what we got in here. Blueberry pie got a skip. I will take that mega crush though. And now we need to go and find the supplies, which are below us. I also want to check out the backyard too, though. Clay soil in there. We got some cement we can scoop up. Oh shit. Holding the shovel again. Didn't I just say before? Don't be walking around with a shovel. Alright, or oh the fucking gun is not loaded. <laughs> I swear I'm like a fucking goldfish. I swim around the, the bowl once and I and I forget everything. Actually, I'm pretty sure the Mythbusters did a thing with goldfish, didn't they? That proved they have actually like a pretty good memory. Grab our ammo here. And uh Let's go back into the yard. See what we got. Got a little pool house. There's a dead body in the pool. Waking up zombies on the other side of the wall. Let's hop in here. Get some rotten flesh. One piece. It was worth it. Damn, I think we got a little wandering horde right here. Let's go, fuckers.
garden raid. These are my fucking crops now. Got some potatoes, some corn, and blueberries. We're growing a lot of blueberries, and that's the reason why I would like to find the snow biome. Get a ton of snow, because uh, the, the yucca juice smoothie requires snow, a glass jar, yucca, and blueberries. And, and that thing uh, not only gives you points towards food, it also gives you points towards hydration. So, uh... Yeah, we'll have to um, do some exploring. Be much easier if we had a gyrocopter, so... We'll have to try and get one made uh, as soon as possible. I'm gonna just cruise around this town for a little and see what POIs we have. See if we can possibly find the mushroom house. Look at this, we got another barn right here. Let's get some more corn. Well, I gotta get this marked on the map. So I don't forget about it. Because, uh, you know, the Bob's Boars, Carl's Corn, I mean, this is the perfect POI for us as farmers. We come back here, get some more super corn, and get a ton of rotten flesh. Oh, here's another good one for rotten flesh. Doggos, let's get this marked on the map as well. Uh, D-O... G-G-O-S, right? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Let's go back to Joel's, get our reward. What's up, Joel? What do you got for me? 120 rounds of 762. I'll take it. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was a bar brawling book again. I should have checked it before I took the ammo. Man, this is the episode of making the same mistake twice. Alright, we got the chem station running, a couple of the forges running. Let's get down in the mine and do some work down here, and hopefully a screamer shows up. Be nice if we can bring on a screamer horde and just double check to make sure the base is working. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we had one zombie last night that showed me the base works. However, sometimes you get a different result when you have a big group of zombies. Well, no screamer, unfortunately. But I do want to prove to you guys that this base does work now. So let me go see if I can at least grab one zombie out in the wild. And bring it back here. To, uh, to show you that this is actually working. If we can find a group of zombies, that would be better, but... Whatever. If one zombie goes for the ladder, I still think we're good. You know, because we tried it with Big Mama the other night. She was just one zombie, and she wouldn't go for the ladder. So let's find ourselves a zombie. Over here, you fuckers. All right, got ourselves a fire zombie. I guess he gave up on chasing me. Hey, over here, buddy. Let's go. All right. Well, I wanted to try this with more than just one zombie, but this is all I have, so it's better than nothing. At least you guys can see that this shit does work. Get in there! Yeah, <laughs> he fell in. Now, go for the ladder. Look at this. Right for the ladder! Yes! Alright, we're looking good, you guys. I think this is gonna work just fine. Look at that slow-mo fall because he fell next to the ladder. Um, and with the sledgehammer turret in place, pushing him off the ladder, this is going to be beautiful. The only thing that can make this better is Robotics Inventor maxed out so we can have two sledgehammer turrets down there. 
which eventually we'll get to that point. Now, can a bird fly in through that hole? Possibly, but I'm not too worried about it. So, we're looking good for night 20. Let me get all this inventory put away. And uh, we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 19. Maybe we'll cruise down to that uh, little town south of Joel. Raid the Doggos and the Bob's Boar's Place. Get a bunch of rotten flesh to continue to grow our farm. And then on day 20, we'll be fighting another horde. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.